I'm looking at the album title and I'm already triggered. I hate being bipolar. It's awesome. Now, I get the whole joke, but I just like to say, I actually know bipolar people. And it is actually not awesome to be bipolar. It is not awesome to be cheery and happy and youthful and have manic happiness only to be ruined by manic depression. And listening to this EP that's um, disguising itself as an album, I guess this is the new wave. Just make very, very short music. Um, I just like to say, I mean, I like it. It's better than the earlier in the year when people was making very long albums just to get the streamings. Now they're making more shorter albums. But I just like to say this is the worst freaking analyzation of me mental illness since Nicole Arbold, to tell you. Like, the album cover alone got me fucking triggered. It's like um, he's seen... It's like he was filming for the video, You're My Only One, when he was filming in the goddamn mountains and shit like that. And he just took this picture and then wrote this little um, fucking little funny little dribble on there just to prove something. Like, come on, man. It's not even that funny. It's not even that funny of a take of mental illness. Come on. Now, I view this little bit of a EP as an EP, and I'll grade it as an EP because I grade EPs differently the way I grade albums, to tell you the truth. But um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of background of Kanye West. Now, Kanye West, well-known egomaniac, who, of course, was a producer for a couple of years, then he broke out as a lyricist because he, of course, had some good ghostwriters. And, you know, he came out with College Dropout, which was written by a whole bunch of, which was written by a whole bunch of people. Then he came out with a f couple of other albums, which was not only written by a whole bunch of people, but produced by a whole bunch of other people. And now he came out with this new album or EP disguised as an album called Yay, which I like to how he just pretty much shortened it just like he shortened the whole uh album or track listing i i don't know who came up with it first whether pusher t or kanye west but i'm gonna say they bit both of them both of each other equally now i just like to say if you're a fan of rapping kanye the kanye that first started out with the first three albums which was from college dropout to graduation, you'll get that. If you're a fan of singing Kanye, which started out from 808 and Heartbreak to about, let's say, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, you'll also get that. And if you're a fan of maybe a mixture of both, like we seen on Yeezus and also by Life of Pablo, you'll also get that when you listen to this EP. Because this EP shows a diverse array of Kanye. Now, this EP starts out with one of the most cringiest titles I ever read in my life. I thought of Killing You, where Kanye says he pretty much talks about his... Um, I guess he's like a psychopath or whatever. You know, he shows an array of mental illnesses with no, I should say, which with less self-awareness than Ethan Waters, you know, the guy who shot up the college. He has less awareness than that guy, to tell you the truth, as he says that if he thought of killing himself and he loves himself more than you, then surely he would th be thought of killing you. Which I have to say, that's pretty damn gross, and that's pretty damn psychopathic. And a person like the Needle Drop pointed out that um, J. Cole rhymed about how he um, not a psychopath, and he thought even though he can't get rid of the idea of killing somebody, yeah, this is what uh, a true psychopath sound like. Like, I, I know what... Um, uh, uh, you know, did needle drop meant, but this is what a true psychopath sounds like. The only saving grace of this track is the last um, stretch of the track where he speeds up and he actually raps instead of doing this talking sort of flow that really sucked. 
I gave the overall song a 1.5, very disappointing and kind of psychopathic. Yikes, which is uh, one of the main reactions I actually said when I read the title of the first track I thought of Killing Myself is a much more better song. Um, I thought of Killing You, I meant, was a much more better song where he makes reference to a person like Rod Su Ron Simmons who actually, um, I think, slammed Kanye only to find out that we he actually was accused of sexual assault. And I like that Kanye did the whole he got me too and I like how he said that, um, of course, niggas trying to test his Gandhi all because he wear Abercrombie, as in you can't take, you can take the person out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out the person. The only bittersweet moment was when Kanye said that being bipolar is a superpower. Yeah, th that, that sounded pretty horrible. But I'm going to give it a 4.5. Pretty good song. Now, All Mine is a pretty good song, you, to tell you the truth. It has a Ty Dollar Sign feature, which was pretty good. As Ty Dollar Sign does this little squeaky fucking voice that kind of remind me of Ray Shremmer a little bit. Also, I like the whole reference to how he said he loves he your tits. Because it proves that he can focus on two things at once. I laughed at that one. Oh yes, I like how he says that he pulled up with a Katie Washington. And that was a scandal. I really like that show reference. Very nice. And I also like how he said that um, he of course pulled up with a Stormy Daniels. Which is the right wing's equivalent to Monica Lewinsky. Very nice. And that whole Christian bingo line was pretty nice also. I like how he tied it with the whole idea of Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm giving the track overall a 5. Now, Wouldn't Leave is one of the more touching tracks where, of course, Kanye West talks about how even though he was in financial debt, Kim wouldn't leave him even though he's $50 million in debt. Also, he makes reference to the whole how sway, and of course, um, he also makes reference to how he said slavery was a choice 400 years, and he's like, how yay, and I guess he leaves that answer unanswered, I guess he leaves that question unanswered the same way sway left the whole idea of how to make his own company unanswered. Also, I like the whole Jeremiah feature, which was pretty nice. Also, the rhyming is pretty impressive, where he rhymes sentimental with gentlemental, which sent to the mental, as in sent to the mental hospital, which is something that he was sent to. So really, I like that. And I like the whole reference to George Jefferson. I always seen him as the example of black racism. Oh, yes, and I also like the song No Mistake, which was pretty cool, you know. Um, also, actually, no. To tell you the truth, the only thing that was cool about the song was Slick Rick, of course. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say this, but Wouldn't Leave, uh, I gave it a 3.5. Now, about the song No Mistake, I kind of like it, but then again, I think it's kind of too short. And the only quotable thing that was on the track is when Kanye said that he doesn't take advice from people less successful than him. That really hit me. But otherwise, it has a Slick Rick sample of Hey Young World, which is pretty nice. Um, but overall, I give the track a 1.5. Oh, yes. And Ghost Town is one of the more cringier um, tracks on here as Kanye has some form of bipolar and narcissism. Um, Kid Cudi has depression and no shake. It seems that she is self-harming herself as she says that he she's going to put a... As she said, she's going to put her hand on a stove to see if she still bleeds. One, I thought that stoves actually codify or heat codify wounds 
But I guess if you keep your hand long enough at a burn, then it's going to make a burn and then you'll just bleed to death. But very way, way too far to show your point. But, you know, I think it's a very soulful track. And I, to tell you the truth, I think it should have been called Holy Ghost Town because uh, with the whole uh, vocals and soulful vocals, I really like it. But I gave it a three. Now we get to the last track, which is Violent Crime, which I hope would have talked about the problem in Chicago that's happening but no it's just kind of reminds me of Nas daughter as Kanye West talks about how people change up when they get a daughter and when they become parents and they stop doing foolish shit which is a nice sentiment to have and I gave it a overall a four so that's my judgment on the whole EP please like subscribe and share this video how did you all feel about the EP please comment below and I'm out, guys. Peace out.